Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax Row here, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Road to the Rig. Uh, today we'll be going over two kind of lesser components, uh, but equally as important. Uh, we're going to do the ram and the power supply. So uh, we'll start off with the ram. I got some G-Skill uh, Sniper Series, 8 gigs, so 2, 4 gigs. Uh, RAM, it, it's important. Uh, you want to get fast RAM, this is 1600 uh, megahertz. Uh, that's kind of the standard, I guess, now. A lot of motherboards only support 1333. So 1600 megahertz, uh, 4 or 8 gigs. 4 is plenty. I got 8 gigs because RAM is so cheap. Um, so you might as well spend, I, I think, the difference between 4 and 8 was only about ten dollars so I went with eight gigs of RAM for the machine and um, that's about all for RAM uh, there's not a whole lot you should know just make sure it's compatible with your motherboard but you shouldn't really have a problem uh, G-Skill, Corsair, uh, they're all good brands for RAM uh, that's about it for that the other thing today is the power supply I have an Antec uh, 650 watts which uh, to be honest for this may even be overkill a lot of people think you need a super beefy power supply uh, when you're building a gaming PC, but it's not really true, and it can actually be kind of counterproductive. So uh, you'll see people going with 800, 1000 uh, watt power supplies, but it, they're less efficient if unless you use them. So I got 650 watts, because uh, I'll probably run one high-end video card, but if I wanted to, it is SLI and Crossfire compatible, meaning I can run two video cards, but not high-end, you're not going to run two 560Ti's, uh, might be able to run two 6850's or something like that. So 650 watt power supply. One thing you really want to make sure of is that your power supply is 80 plus certified. Uh, that's kind of a certification board and this is 80 plus bronze. You can also get silver, gold and platinum. So that just means uh, that they're more efficient under load. Um, and that's the problem you get with um, using, say, a 1,000 watt power supply and you're not using that power, it's less efficient and uh, you're actually underpowering your power supply, which can also shorten the life of your power supply. So, uh, yeah, you want to get the right wattage you need. There's lots of calculators out there on Newegg or Tom's Hardware, just a lot, but it comes down to basic addition and uh, see what your processor needs to run what your video cards need to run, what the wattage is there, just add it up and make sure it's good. But I went with 650, which is going to be plenty. I'm probably going to run a 650 Ti or 6950 uh, ATI Radeon 6950 graphics card. The other cool thing about this power supply, it doesn't come with power power cable, so you can uh, buy one separately, or you probably have one kicking around like I do. So you'll save a little bit of money there. Um, the big thing with power supplies, you want to go with a good brand name. It's actually one of those areas where brand name really matters. So uh, I went with Antec, they're trusted. Uh, this power supply is actually made by Seasonic, which is another great brand to use. The other ones would be Corsair and uh, OCZ, or OCZ, OCZ. <laughs> so go with one of those and you'll be, uh, you'll be ready to go. The other thing, if it's your first build, you probably want to go with modular power supply. So this is non-modular, all the cables are all attached. So I'm, I don't need all these cables. I don't think anyone will need every cable. Uh, it has like floppy drive inputs and stuff, which, which you don't need. And all these uh, old Molex adapters, which I know I won't need. So the, the bonus is that I have kind of a big case, so I can hide them somewhere. But if it's your first build or if you have a small case, go with a modular power supply. That way, um, what a modular power supply is, all these cords you would just input into the back and you only use the cords you need which is really handy and makes your case a lot cleaner looking so the back of my case is going to look like a mess because uh, i have all these extra cables but that's okay uh, but pro tip uh, get a modular power supply they will normally run um, about twenty dollars more but uh, it's probably worth it if, uh, if it's one of your first builds um, so that's basically it guys um, a lot of people one other thing a lot of people say uh, when they're shopping power supplies and say 650 watts, they may say, oh, I can get 700 for only $10 more. And you probably can, but it's probably a crappy brand name um, that you want to stay away from. So that's about it, guys. Uh, we looked over the Antec. Uh, I'll get the actual product names, put them in the description as well. It is the 
Antec Earth Watts, uh, 650 watt power supply, and we got G Skill Sniper Ram. So that's uh, another episode of Road to the Rig done. I'll see you in the next one where we'll go over the processor.